Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I installed the Rotopixel Brushless Gimbal onto my Phantom Vision. Before I start installing things, let's take a closer look. I like the way they've branded the motors with the Rotopixel design. Also very nice is this machined aluminium. All of the white plastic components that you see here are 3D printed to a very good quality. Rotopixel have gone with a modular design, so in future you will be able to replace the camera holder for one for example a GoPro Hero 3. This is going to be handy if this is your first gimbal, as you will be able to carry it on to the next quadcopter. First of all, run the Phantom 2 Vision Assistant, and we're going to change these gain settings here. Change the pitch to zero and then press enter. Then on the servo travel limit, click on the center box of the pitch. Then change it to minus 450, again pressing enter. Now that's done, let's start making some physical changes. Disconnect the camera from the rubber mounts. Then unplug the servo cable and the FC200 cable that is in the back. Now using a screwdriver or scissors as I am here, pull off the rubber cover that covers the screw hole on one of the ears. This screw goes right into the servo and holds the whole mechanism together, so we need to take this off. Then undo these silver screws that you see on top. This will help move the servo, then releasing the camera from the bracket. All of these steps can be reversed to put this back to normal. Now let's mount the vision camera into the gimbal. Inside your kit you will find this plastic piece with the screw in it. This will take the place of that black servo screw that we previously removed. Push it into the hole and then screw it in. This will hold the camera into the gimbal nice and safe. Now let's attach the servo cable to the one on the gimbal. Always have the phantom powered off when connecting or disconnecting cables. Now let's mount the gimbal onto the isolation mounts. Here I'm using a piece of wire. I lasso it around the isolation mount and pull it through. I find this to be the easiest way. Repeat the process until all four are connected. In the kit you will find these two pieces. Push the black piece down through the isolation mount and then screw the other piece up inside it. This should be turned between 6 and 8 times. If you do it too tight you will end up with jello in your video, so loosen it off a little bit. The front ones are slightly harder to get in, but if you put it onto the tip of a screwdriver it should go in nicely. Now take the original Phantom Vision cable and plug this into the main board. The existing cable is too thick and stiff, so the Rotopixel gimbal has its own thinner and more flexible cable. Plug this into the FC200 camera. For optimal operation, have the cable pointing upwards. This is my very first powering up of the gimbal. As you will see, if you have the camera pointing down slightly, it can make contact with the ground, and this will cause it to shake. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, I still have all my usual features but also I can now point the camera all the way down towards the ground. Let's take it outside for a test fly.
Here we have a member of my family about to leave the house, so this should make a good subject to follow. Here is some nighttime footage shot with the gimbal. This is real time video with no slowing down. I noticed a small amount of jello in the video, but I think that's because I done those screws too tight. You will also notice that the yaw wobble is slightly more prominent in this video compared to a GoPro video. That's mainly due to the narrow field of vision. So that's all for now guys, I'm going to have a play around and see if I can get rid of that jello by adjusting the screws and I will also be posting up a whole bunch of sample videos showing the raw footage from this gimbal. So stick around guys and subscribe. I'm going to leave you now with a future video. All of these shots you're going to see were shot with my TBS Pro and will be featured in a future video.